All right, today we are starting fluoroscopy. And so we're gonna go over the types and kind of uses and how it's how the image is created. Some history of fluoroscopy. Um, it was um, invented by Thomas Edison in 1896. It's been a valuable tool ever since. Fluoroscopy is an advancement to diagnostic x-ray because it allows us to see some structures that we wouldn't necessarily be able to see with just plain film. Um, a lot of your GI anatomy, we can't identify um, the function of or specific, specific uh, lining of without the addition of contrast media. So fluoroscopy gave us the ability to see moving or dynamic internal structures um, and highlight certain areas of anatomy or locate anatomy that we wouldn't um, normally see, like, you know, the biliary tree, um, you know, or esophagus or things like that. So, um, and just some fun facts for you. The radiologist used to have to wear these dark adapt goggles, these red goggles, uh, to be able to produce their fluoroscopy images. So that was just a fun fact for you. And then there are two categories of fluoroscopy. There's mobile fluoro and stationary fluoro. Mobile fluoro is the sea arm that travels to the OR room with you. You can drive it around. Your stationary fluoro is your fluoroscopy room. So we have fluoroscopy rooms for upper GIs and BEs, and that equipment does not move, right? So if you see stationary and mobile, that's all it means. One of the maybe confusing parts about fluoro is that the x-ray tube and image receptor are essentially flipped from what we're used to for regular x-ray. The x-ray tube or the source is going to be underneath the patient. In your fluoroscopy room, it is in the table underneath the patient. The image intensifier is the large sort of ice cream cone on top. Your image intensifier is going to collect the information and create the image. In regular x-ray, we're used to x-ray tube on top, image receptor on the bottom, right? Well, fluoro flips that. So the big cone shape we call the image intensifier. This cone shape here, um, the x-ray tube or the source for sea arm work is actually down bottom. So when you drive into an OR case, the source is at the bottom. Okay? The image intensifier works similar to that of an imaging plate. It's going to collect all the x-ray information um, from the remnant beam that's already passed through the patient and then go through a process um, to produce that image. The image is then displayed on a monitor and um, we're able to see it. So similar concepts, just a little bit different format than regular x-ray.